Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for a link to my Amazon store, where I've compiled some of the very best items available, including some of my own personal recommendations. Thanks! What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short, little unboxing to share with you guys. No emphasis on little, however, because again, there's a lot of stuff, some big stuff in this box. I'm sure you guys can tell by the thumbnail. This box was sent to me by Off Grid Knives. I'm sure you guys have uh, seen a lot of their stuff on my channel here recently. This is the coin that came with the Scorpion, which is coincidentally the knife we're going to be using to unbox this stuff. I am going to link everything that you guys see in this video today, the Scorpion. I'm also going to link another one of my favorites right now, this enormous Off Grid Alpha Dog that I recently unboxed. I'm going to link that uh, down in the description and everything else that's in this box. Um, I've been talking a lot with Carrie from Off Grid Knives and uh, I, we just see eye to eye and I, I really enjoy their design so he sent me a whole bunch more stuff to check out and I am so excited to get into this box. Um, so like I said, if you're curious about anything, curious about anything, um, just check the description because it's all going to be down there. Um, go ahead and just kind of slice my way into this. Multiple things in this box. I'm going to try to unbox them in an order that I deem most entertaining. Okay, we have a large, I'm gonna, I wanna get this out without revealing anything to myself. I'm sure that they're in boxes. Yeah, okay, good. Box. <laughs> really big box. Box, oh, I feel spoiled. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cool. Okay, um, here we go. More goodies. And then it says carry. I'm not going to reveal it just yet. Actually, it doesn't matter because I probably put it in the um, title there. Show you guys the off-grid sticker. Check them out uh, on Instagram. Check them out uh, on their website. Everything, absolutely. In fact, I'm sure it will say right here. If you're like, what's their Instagram? There you go. Right there. And then there's their website uh, and their um, email address. So check them out. So we're looking at... The Tracker X, the Viper, the Badger, and the Cleaver Hornet. Um, I What do I want to start with? I'm so excited. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I said I said um, Hornet. It's actually Hoglet is what that is. So let's go ahead and get this out. <laughs> oh, man. I love unboxing multiple knives. It's just my favorite. Um, really excited. So this, this first one here is actually a fixed blade that... Um, as you could imagine, is in the style of a cleaver. Let's go ahead and turn up the or turn down the exposure so that the, it's not so dark. Unboxing knives are always weird because it, the exposure goes down. Oh, cool, super cool. Paracord wrapped here. Let's go ahead and just make a little precision cut there. Oh boy. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Awesome. So this is a little Aus 8 stonewashed cleaver. Man, that's comfortable. Carrie, super comfortable. Oh my goodness. Awesome. So these are always, I always like, um, you know, paracord wrap fixed blades because um, if you don't like this style, you can just take it off and you can make it whatever color you want. This is awesome. Um, if it's anything like the other ones, which it appears to be, um, it looks like the blade is incredibly quality made, uh, sharpened incredibly well. I'll say it's going to serve a great, um, purpose in a fixed blade like this. So that's nice. Like the little hole up there, it just makes it look more cleavery. So super cool. Absolutely. All right. Let's see here. The next one I want to do, I think I want to check out the Badger. Let's go ahead and open that one up. Um, just kind of cut right through that little seal sticker there. Get into this box, making a huge mess on my table. And awesome. Okay, so this is, uh, and I'm aware of this, you know, a lot of people are like, you said you don't like FRN. This is a an FRN scale, but it does have full steel liners underneath. And, oh, nice. So this feels very much like the Rhino in the flipping action. And actually more robust than I would have thought. I can actually get a full grip on this guy. Um, D2, uh, FRN, and then we have a nice short deep carry clip with recessed screws. And it looks like, yeah, there's a little uh, switch right there that's actually going to um, assist in keeping that um, liner lock from moving over. Um, and it looks like there's a little bit of an adjustment head. You could probably 
change the friction. It's pretty good. It feels very similar to the ProTech safeties. Um, so that's kind of neat. You can kind of, you can make sure that the blade gets locked out if you want to. Very cool. Uh, very interesting. Um, now this is the folding knife that I was the most uh, interested in from the stuff that he was presenting to me. So I'm really excited to get into that one. By the way, this does come, both of these I think it come in different colors. Maybe not the cleaver, but this guy comes in a different color. Um, so next up we have the Viper. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so this one is G10. Uh, and it also has this, I think these are D2. Oh yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So this has that sort of the interesting jimping that we saw on the, um, black Mamba. Um, just a different style of knife. We have sort of a compound ground, hollow and flat Tanto. Um, this one's tumbled. It also comes in black. This is really, really cool. Has that same safety where you can keep the liner lock from disengaging. Love that pocket clip. Nice and short. Plenty of retention, nice and deep with recessed screws. That's really cool. What do we have here? Oh, this is K110. Okay, so it is D2, but it's the premium uh, D2. I think that's Bowler. Yeah, this is essential. K110 is Bowler's D2. It's the same D. It's the same uh, steel that you see on the uh, this gigantic Alpha Dog. It's the same exact steel. This is super, super cool. I, I really like that one. I'm really excited to get in and look at that one there. I'm going to go ahead and just might as well make this an off-grid party and just put the Scorpion and the Alpha Dog there too. So I'm intentionally saving this, um, this last box here because it's got another fixed blade in it. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys can guess that it is also kind of a monster. So let's go ahead and get into this last one here. Um, so, so pumped to see this. I, I'm just, I'm getting more into fixed blades, guys. So I'm a little bit more accepting to certain things. So this is called the Tracker X. I think it's a little bit less into, I mean, it's still apparently a monster, um, in just overall size and thickness, but I think it's a little bit less intense than the Alpha Dog, which we'll give a comparison to. Um, what really attracted me to it was the handle scale pattern. And of course, there's a little bit of multi-layering there too. Let me, just, let me just make a quick little slice there. Longest unboxing ever, but lots of stuff for you guys here to look at. Oh boy. Here we go. Can we get that? Oh, does it have a, is there like a release on it or a just pull? Oh yeah, you just pull. Awesome. <laughs> Straightforward, just big old honking meaty thing. That's great. So the, this has a lot more blade than handle, but the handle is absolutely a full size handle. There's contouring. This is textured. Awesome. Big old Torx heads there holding everything together. And then we have tumbled D2 in the exact same thickness. Looks to be about a quarter inch thick. So there you go. I don't think there's a comparison video of those two yet on um, YouTube. In fact, I think this is the only gathering of this many off-grid knives in the same place on YouTube. So I'm happy to present all of these right now. Um, like I said, if you are interested in picking any of these up for yourself, they will all be right down at the top of the description um, and all the different variants. So you guys can do that. These are super cool. I'm a big, I kind of tiptoed into off-grid knives. The first one being the Black Mamba, which was sent to me by my buddy Shaker MT. And then Carrie and I started talking on Instagram and I got to looking at their other models and I was like, these are really cool. On top of that, they use OEMs like Wii and Bestec, which are fantastic OEMs for uh, manufacturers, uh, I'm sorry, uh, for uh, manufacturing quality, fit and finish, you know, things like that. Um, so considering the combination of materials used and the prices that they're asking for these, I'm, I'm a big fan of off-grid knives and uh, I'm really happy to um, be able to take a look at these. So Carrie, thanks so much for providing these. Um, lots of great content coming involving all of these knives. That's going to be pretty much it for today's video, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this short little unboxing, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on this Metal Complex logo right here and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. 
Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.